Tell your friends some money business Cause I wanna vibe with you I wanna break down and touch it Then roll up a boy and get high with you I wanna get the fuck out of this up How do you deal with writer's block? How do I deal with writer's we block? We over here in this question Alright, you was waiting on this Yes <laughs> I try to just relax, roll a blunt or two. I, I, I know I roll a blunt or two. Just try to try to just think about what's been going on around me, what's been going on in my life. Not necessarily writing about it, but just kind of like you know, kind of picking little spots in your memory. <laughs> you said when you observe what's going on for songs, do you observe your own life, or do you just kind of like also look at other people's life and get inspired by that? I have written songs inspired by other people, most definitely. Before I got into my own relationships, I kind of was basing like songs about being with somebody off of like, what I saw in my friends when they were in relationships. Mm -hmm. Because I really couldn't give my own little insight into it because I hadn't been in a relationship at the time. So I do find inspirations from not only what I've gone through, but what others have gone through, whether it be relationships or just anything. Thing, honestly first year i really wrote that for anybody that's had to go to college or just school in general we don't want to do this work let's just be real we just want to get our degree and go home like we don't care about it. and people think just because somebody getting straight a's they do it they turn their everything on time blah 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 nah they they just got it done two minutes before it was due me, I know me, I did that. I'm like the ultimate procrastinator. That's why Same. I album. That's why an album is still not out. <laughs> I really related to it too. And that's another thing. I like to make songs that people can relate to, that people can see themselves in, you know? First year, that's a song. You went If you went to school, it don't even matter if it's college. It can be high school, it can be middle school. You've gone through these type of types of trials and tribulations. Bad habits, you know, a lot of people like to smoke and drink. You feel me? A lot of people have bad habits that they want to kick, but they can't or they don't want to. It's like they want to, but they don't want to at the same time. Where do you get your beats from? YouTube! <laughs> same. <laughs> I do rely on YouTube beats a lot, but I want to get into making my own beats one day so I don't have to keep buying up releases off of YouTube. I can sell my shit because it's all my shit. Baby steps. <laughs> How do you think of your melodies? What is your process and what are some tips you have for an artist struggling to create a melody different from a beat? It just depends. Like, let's say you are you don't have a song yet and you're just looking up beats. If you're starting out trying to write songs, like you've never written a song in your entire life, it's easy to try to find the melody within the beat. That melody could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be the beat itself. Some people, they like to just sing along to the beat. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Now that you're mentioning that, there's also different layers that they're harmonizing. So if you have trouble doing that, you could do it to a less audible layer, I guess. I, I, don't, know, I know what you're saying. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's actually... See, you giving advice too. What's going on? You you know a little something. But too. I, I didn't know. Nah, this just came from your advice. It just stepped <laughs> out. It's crazy. There have been songs that I've written without an instrumental, like Sweet Tooth. That actually was written without an instrumental. And then you made so, it fit. Yes. Well. Nice. I think actually I think all I had was the chorus before I had the instrument. What do you use to record and edit your music and what kind of basic edits do you apply before mixing and mastering? I think the most I do is kind of like the vocal effects. Not all the vocal effects, but like when I use pitch correction or auto-tune. Yes, y'all, I use auto-tune. So you know how to point. use it, like properly. I mean, I kind of I kind of play around with it because when you use the auto-tune, like, you have to make sure it's in the right key. Otherwise, it's going to sound flat, and you have to find that right key. And sometimes you have to alter the way it sounds, like just singing it. Like, you probably have to change the way you sing certain parts because it's not going to sound right with any key. <laughs> yeah, other than that, I don't really do much. I just, I just kind of send it over. I record. I've been recording mainly on my phone and on my iPad. The most recent songs I put out have not been in an actual studio. The EP, How I Feel, and the EP, Charles the Panther, was completely recorded on my iPad with a, um, it's called a Video BL microphone. I just attach it to my whatever, whichever device I use and record. 
So how long does it take you to record an average song? With me, it, it really depends. I could write a song within 15 minutes, maybe. If I already have it, like, if it's been bubbling in my head for, like, a long-ass time, mm -hmm. and I already know what I want to write, of course I can write it in 15 minutes because it's been bubbling in my head for a long-ass time. If it's a song that, like, if I feel like I'm putting in a lot of effort into it's going to take a long-ass time. I'm not even going to lie. It may take weeks. It may take months. Bad Habits actually took months. I started writing Bad Habits in 2018. I didn't finish it until the middle of 2019. Almost almost a year. Record. If I got the whole song together, not that long. That happened songs where I've recorded once and it was like, okay, cool. Now, those are the songs that, that take about 10, 15 minutes like, just to record. If I had to do it over and over again, probably about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, no more than an hour, unless I'm just really, really lazy. And I really have that quality. So, like, that happens all the time. <laughs> when do you There's know so when to stop? Like, when you've added enough harmonies and layers and stuff, like... Do you know your limit or do you just like keep going? I honestly feel like I could do more when it comes to like background vocals and ad libs and all these runs and riffs. I feel like I could do more of that. I mean, I feel like I do enough, but I feel like I could just like just fuck up some shit. <laughs> like, just like just go crazy on some shit. Speaking of runs and riffs, what do you know about that? Like, first of all, I, I don't know the difference. So if you could put me on to the difference, what you know about them, how you perfect them, anything that I can learn from that, because my, whatever the, all of that shit, trash. You gonna hate me for this. I really don't know the difference. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do either, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to probably do some research and get right back to you. Maybe I can help you out a little bit mm -hmm. and help myself out. <laughs> Honestly. Do you have any advice on ad libs? For me personal, once again. The way I figure out my ad libs, I try to think of just something that something that's memorable and also something that just goes in line with what I just said previously. So like in bad habits I said, I like to roll up a blood and I'm like, roll it up, I buy it every month, smoke. You remember that shit, like it's just something that it's just catchy, like, oh, okay, oh, hey, like, you just, you just adding your own effects. I see ad-libs as, like, add-ons to an instrumental. You're bringing life into a song. Like, you're probably already bringing life with just singing, but, like, or rapping or whatever you're doing. But those ad-libs, people gonna remember those ad-libs. I feel like with, with singing, you don't have to do it as much mm -hmm. because it's just people are more focused and just what you're saying in the verse and how you're saying it and how you're singing it and all that other stuff. But the ad-libs for, for like r and song, it's different. Cause with that, it's more so you're just harmonizing in the back or you're just repeating a word. It's just whatever flows, honestly. Whatever sounds the best. What is the process for mixing and mastering your music? Or better yet, I guess, who does it for you? Uh, my bro, uh, Damon, he, that's the guy who's been uh, mixing and mastering my tracks. Uh, he's also a rapper. He's actually featured on my rap EP uh, on the first song, first year. He's actually my frat brother. So he's, he's in the same fraternity as I <laughs> I've never met this guy in person. I've only talked oh, to him on the phone. Interesting. That's really like, cool. We have a mutual brother. My my line brother, the one who I crossed with, he's from Connect. They know each other back from back at home. So are you planning on learning more skills in the music industry? You want it to be all you. So like producing, cover art, directing, all that shit. You want it to be just all you? Yeah, like, I have so many music video ideas. Like, a, a music video idea for, that I have for Bad Habits goes crazy. It goes crazy. I've always had my vision just somewhere other than my head. <laughs> yes, I want to get into more, like, producing wise my dad's been trying to get me to learn how to play an instrument. I don't know how to play any instruments. He recommended the piano. And I'm actually thinking of considering it. I might, I think I'm gonna uh, probably get like a keyboard and just kind of teach myself, you know, YouTube, YouTube something. I think the so piano I, will sound great to your voice. I would, I would love to learn how to play the piano. Like I'm, 
And I want to go crazy with it, like, like John Legend type shit. Most definitely create more ballads. I love making ballads. What are your goals as an artist? Do you want to get signed? Do you want to just be successfully independent? Like, what are your plans? I am actually going back and forth on whether I want to get signed because I see the benefits, but then I see the not so beneficial aspects of it. I want to own my shit. If I sign to a label, they own everything I have. I could write a song and they could, they could give the shit to somebody else on the label. Really? That's interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just learned that from All American. I'm not sure if you've heard of that show. Mm -mm. It's a football related type of show, high school mm -hmm. type of shit. But there's a character who signed to a label and she wrote a song, but then the label owner gave the song to a, another artist on the label. Once you have the song, once you like submit it to the label, you can't put the song out on your own because you're signed to the label and they have control on, on when songs come out. I don't know. I, I would love to do it independently, but I have to be successful at it. Like, there's no question of that. It has to work the way I, I need it to work. I may change my mind in the future. I may <sighs> give in to the man. <laughs> I'm interested to see. I will drop one more single ahead of my album. One more. I'm not going to say what it is, but I will say it will drop on my birthday. Okay. March. Yep. I won't say what the song is. But it will be familiar. I'll say that though. I'm gonna give y'all. I'll give y'all some hints. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this shit is glitching, OD. You're looking at me crazy. No oh, we <laughs> So you're trying to write a new song. What are your next steps to get yourself in the right headspace for it? I mean, unless you already think that, you know, we're rolling up a nice, you already kind of spoke on it, I guess. I mean, I was trying to think of something other than rolling up, because that was a of, but I have written songs without the influence. <laughs> I don't want people thinking that's all I get my inspiration from. When I start to write a new song, I really think about what message I'm trying to get across, basically. What do I want to talk about? Do I want to talk about something serious? Do I want to talk about something fun? Do I want to talk about love? I had to really ponder on those thoughts. And it takes a while. It really does sometimes. Especially if you don't already have a song in mind. Usually when I start writing a new song, I already have like an idea. And my idea usually just formulates bubbling in my head, I guess, for, for a while until something just comes out. It's like, oh shoot, wait, hold on. And then there it is. <laughs> Writing a new song, can, it takes patience. It takes a lot of patience. And it's going to get frustrated. It has gotten frustrating. Like, I want to show somebody frustrated. <laughs> Be patient. Maybe meditate. I'm trying to get into meditating. And just think about what goes on in your life, what goes on in other people's lives. Like I said before, like, I take inspiration not only from what happens in my life, but, but from the people that surround me. So, I mean, it just depends on how you feel at the moment. You feel me? Mm-hmm, I feel you. I mean, as long as you feel. <laughs> Do you prefer working on features or solo singles? I mean, I have a lot of songs just by myself because I didn't really know that many other artists and also because like I, I do both like I'll rap and I sing so like if I got a song that's the R&B and I'm just singing and I need a rap verse mm -hmm. I'm usually the person that's the rap verse <laughs> and I've been used to that but collabing with other artists is it's a different kind of feel. It's kind of like a game. You're kind of showcasing what what you both can do. And at the same time, it's like a competition. Who about to kill this shit better? But it's, it's all love at the end of the day because either way, the song gonna be fired. Like my bro Damon. Yes, there may have been songs where I killed them on a few tracks, but he did, he got song where he did the same shit back to me. Because to be perfectly honest, my song first year, I think he murked, I think he killed that shit. Like, I think he just blew the fish out the water type shit. Like, he, that was that shit. Like, I like my verses, don't get me wrong. I feel like I had a nice little flow, had a nice little topic or whatever. But when he came in, it was like a whole nother feeling for me. I was like, oh, and it's funny because he wasn't going to be on the song originally. The song was just supposed to be me. And he said, bro, let me get on the song. And I said, okay. And then he gave me that. And I was like, my guy. You have blessed my track. You have made the song 10 times better. So he asked to be on your track? 
Yeah, yeah, but after I sent it to him, and he was like, bro, let me hop on it. He wanted to hop on Panther, too, but I'm like, bro, I can't give you that many features. That's hella features. He already knew that one was going to pop up. To answer your question, I love collaborations. It's, it's fun. It really is. I like being able to share other people's skills other than my own. That's why I'm looking forward to all six of these songs we recorded when I get there. Yeah. We're going to do I do a few. We gonna do a lot of songs. We gonna get. We gonna get this on the road. We gonna. We gonna fuck it up. I'm I, I down. Swear. I think we should record the processes too. We can do it. I'm, I'm down. Litty. Yup. Now you excited? I can hear. It. Last question: If you can give any advice to a new artist, what would it be? Listen up, everybody. <laughs> if it was, if it's any advice I can give to any artist that's you know starting out their career, for one, if you're serious about the shit. Be serious about it. Take it seriously. Don't treat it as a hobby. Like if you wanna if you wanna make something out of this, if you want this to be a career, treat it as such. Work on your craft every single day if you have to. You got a job already, cool. After you get off of work, take a shower, write a song. Let them know what it's like, Victor. Up, like you're not gonna become the best rapper best singer overnight practice makes perfect i write good now but i did not write like this all the time i swear to god if y'all can hear the garbage i wrote in middle school and i thought fire you have to work at it listen to beats find your sound that's another thing find your sound don't try to be like everybody else find your own sound so that they be like oh that's so and so oh that's haze that's big haze oh that's delilah oh Shit, oh, this girl sound like Delilah. Oh, this boy sound like Vic Hayes. You hear what I'm saying? It's nice to be compared to other artists, but it's an honor when people compare other artists to you. And you have to get to that point if you're serious about it. It's going to take everything in you. Give it your all. Don't give up. If this is what your dream is, you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. If you believe in God, I believe in God too. I believe I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Not a believer, still. Give it your all. Shit. <laughs> this interview <laughs> was mad interesting. Thank you. Absolutely. I am I am happy. Happy to be a part of this. I'm down for any other videos. Like if you want to invite me as like a guest, whether it be virtual or in person, like when I get there or whatever. Definitely. Like, I'm down. Definitely when you get uh, here and virtual. I'm tired, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Thank you, Victor, so much for featuring on this new series of mine. I did kind of experiment a lot of the questions on him. I think he did really, really well. Let me know what you think. Don't be too harsh because I will violate. Don't try me. I really hope you will be really, really nice to him as well as all the next guests that will be on my channel. As Vic said, music is a career of passion. It won't be easy and it will fuck with you, but you need to use that to keep going. We will become somebody great one day and you guys will all be here to witness it and support us. So thank you so much now and forever on. I wanted to make this series in order to explain behind the scenes for music as well as the process for different artists. And I wanted it so that I can help myself as well as a lot of my subscribers and viewers. I recently went through all my comments and got a couple questions I couldn't really answer myself. So I thought what better way than to kind of go through this series and try my best to learn and take you guys along with me. I hope our conversation was able to drop some new knowledge for you as it did for me. Victor will be back with new music content on my channel. So just wait. If you have any questions for us to maybe tackle in our next video go ahead and drop them down below we'll be more than happy to go over them thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great day and remember you're a goddess later I know you probably thinking I'm out here smoking and drinking I'm really into the parties I'm focused on education So there ain't no need to worry I promise I'ma be great These were the lies I told my mom As I wish to they get home safe And I'm sorry Procrastination is the worst drug And I can't ever get no work done